the analogy I would use is um, if we think about a bank, right? If, if somebody walks into a bank with a weapon, tries to take the money, and is going out the door, there is well-established precedent that a private security, an armed private security guard legally can in fact order the individual to stop and if they refuse to, to, to cease and desist, they can in fact use lethal force. Uh, for whatever reason, in the digital world, we don't allow that. And what you're seeing across the, the, the commercial environment for my clients is what David described is an unbelievable feeling of being left hanging out to dry by your own government. And what's happening is, if we sit here in the Asia Society, we're starting to see, um, historically, the business community, like the Chamber of Commerce, if you think about a sailboat, they were kind of like the rudder that any time the protectionist tendencies against China started to act up, they would kind of dampen things down and keep the, keep the sailboat afloat. There's so much anger and frustration about the theft that's taking place by state-sponsored actors, including China, that for, we're actually seeing the, the business community demanding that they be allowed, to, if the government's not gonna, let, gonna step in and actually play the role of defending them, then they need to be allowed to do it.